Hi guys, how are you? Nice to see you again. Welcome to English Friday. I'm PWC. Hope to enjoy the class. On today's lesson, we'll be covering comparatives and superlatives. We will learn about what comparatives and superlatives are, how to properly use comparatives and superlatives, and some exceptions. However, before we start, I need you to know something. Every time you compare in English, you must always use them instead of that. For example, She is more beautiful than flowers. Going to the beach is better than going to the mountain. I prefer soda than orange juice. See? Easy peasy. Let's start now. What are comparatives and superlatives? Well, comparatives are adjectives that compare only two things. It's like comparing cartoons and TV series. How to use comparatives? First, don't forget comparatives are used only to compare two things. The clue word for comparatives is more, at and er, which is an abbreviation of more at the end of the adjective. And if the adjective is too short, just duplicate the last letter. Then, you would say something like, I was born first than my brother, so I am older than him. What you cannot say is, I am more old than him. This is not correct. It's like mixing the word more with the adjective. Let's make an example. Guess you're running against a friend, only the two of you. And then, you win. So, what would you say to your friend? Then, you told your friend, I am faster than you, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am more fast than you. This is not right. Well, moving on. Superlatives are adjectives that compare more than two things. Like comparing three people to see which one is the oldest, the youngest, and the tallest. How to use superlatives? First, don't forget superlatives are used to compare more than two things. The clue word for superlatives is most, at an ESD, which is an abbreviation of most at the end of the adjective, and If the adjective is too short, duplicate the last letter. Let's make an example. Now, let's suppose you're running against many friends. And then, you win! So, what would you say to your friends? Then you tell your friends, I am the fastest runner, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am the most fast runner. This is not right. Now, we're almost done, so let's see the exceptions. First, if the adjective is too long, more than two syllables, then you cannot use comparatives and superlatives. For example, Spanish grammar is more difficult than English grammar, or she's wearing the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Second, if the adjective describes an absolute state, like perfect, unique, and uniform, you cannot use comparatives and superlatives. For example, Maggie had the most perfect score at the exam. And there are some irregular adjectives that change with comparatives and superlatives. There are five of them, which are good, bad, far, little, and many. And here you have the comparative form and the superlative form. Well, guys, my advice for you today is watch English movies with English subtitles. This is really gonna help you out. Thank you, guys. See you next Friday. Try something awesome. Created using Powtoon.